Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 42. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 41 to 48. Hey, this YouTuber said, hey, I got a bunch of numbers and I just simply want negative numbers to be red and positive numbers to be green. Well, hey, let's use conditional formatting. We're going to, in 2007, go to home styles, conditional formatting. And in 2003, you go to format menu and conditional formatting, the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions. I'm going to highlight all the range, the light colored cell at the top. The keyboard, the shortcut is Alt OD, OD. New rule. And here we're going to use use formula to determine which cells to format. In 2003, you have to point to the first text box and select is formula. All right, we have our format values where the formula is true. Yes, this is a true false formula. Any times it comes out to be true, it'll apply the format. When it's false, it will not. All right, here we go. Just like data validation, uh, a true false formula is going to be stored here in the dialog box in memory for conditional formatting. And it's always applied first light colored cell at the top and copied down. It's as if you had a real life formula there and copied it down. So what do we want? We want to click right here and hit F4, F4, F4. So that is a relative cell reference when copied down. Less than zero. Nice simple formula. Then we're going to click Format. And we want red, font, white, Click OK, click OK, click OK. Hey, wait a second, but what about the positive values? Hey, a cool trick here, instead of putting two conditional formats, just put the default as a uh, green color. So I'm going to go to the home ribbon. Now, this bucket is on the uh, toolbar, formatting toolbar in 2003. And I'm going to select, uh, say, this color green right here. And there you go. And I have a uh, randomizing formula here. So when I hit F9, you can see the conditional format really does apply the format only when the cell content is less than zero. All right, we'll see you next YouTuber trick.